Hello, hello, hello. How are you guys doing today? I said today because, well, I slept through last night. <laughs> I did. Oh my Lord, I slept so much. You guys, I went to bed last night at like 8.30. I was so tired, I don't know why. And I don't know if it was just, you know, coming back and everything and the cold weather, but I was so tired. And Alex went out to dinner last night with a friend of his that was in town visiting. And um, so he was like, well, I'll probably be home at like nine or 10. And I was like, okay. And so I was like gonna lay down until he came home. And he came home and he came right upstairs, got home about like, I think it was like 10.30. He came right upstairs and went to bed and he was like, are you getting up to vlog? And I said, I'm gonna get up to vlog in just a little bit. And I set my alarm for like midnight and I woke up and he was still playing his game and I said, you're gonna be so tired tomorrow. He goes, I know, he was like, I can't fall asleep. And um, he was like, are you gonna go vlog? And I was like, I'm just gonna lay here for like another half an hour because I'm so cozy. And I had gotten the dogs and so we were like, you know, napping together. And I had missed the doggies so much and um, they were being so sweet last night and they were so tired. They were wanting to take naps too, so. Anyway, I slept straight through the night. So I just went and got my coffee. And I actually uh, did a review of the Goosebumps Frappuccino while I was driving through there. So you can go check that out on my review channel today if you'd like. And I'm probably not gonna vlog for a really long time because I wanna do a book vlog as well. And then I need to go home and there are two videos that I wanna make so, well, I have a Peterism's video, and then I have a drama video that I want to make, and then I got to get ready in time to go to my meeting tonight. So, I got to be ready by like seven o'clock to go pick up Tanya Jean, Appleston, prettiest girl I've ever seen. So, yesterday, what did I do? Um, well, I got up, I don't even remember what time I woke up, I think it was like noon, and I, um, I did some videos around the house because I was gonna go pick up the dogs in the afternoon at like 3.30 or four because they were getting groomed. Um, so I did some videos around the house and kind of like put some more stuff away and cleaned up the house a little bit. And then um, I did something before I went to go pick up the dogs but I can't remember. I still have their stuff right here. They're left, they have two cans of food left. And this is one of Tucker's favorite toys. He has two of them, but he likes that they make the little noises. And then this is his, uh, one of his ladies that I got him for his birthday. So she has a witch's hat on. Oh, he killed the squeaker. And then of course he loves his little ropes and things like that that he chews on. Who doesn't play with toys? And then his elephant that he's chewed up his ear, see? And he has no squeaker inside left. And then his Christmas dog. <laughs> None of the squeakers are in here anymore. <laughs> and then two cans of dog food. Anyway, I gotta take that stuff inside. So, right before I went to go, well, it was like a half an hour before I was getting ready to go pick up the dogs, the groomer called me and apparently Boo Radley was like freaking out. And he does this sometimes like, <clears throat> like he cries out, like if you touch his face and stuff, he doesn't really like it. And I always get worried before he has to be groomed because I'm like, is he gonna be able to handle it? Is he not gonna be able to handle it? And um, so Tucker's perfectly fine. But anyway, she called me and she's like, Peter, I'm trying my hardest. She's like, but I, I'm like really, you know, like, I don't want to push him to being like so scared. She was like, but I can't do his, his face, excuse me, his face at all. And I was like, well, is he just giving you really a hard time? She's like, he's pulling every single time I try to like get near his face. And she's like, I'm really, I don't want to cut him. And she was like, he's also an older dog. I don't really like want to scare him, you know? And I said, okay, just don't worry about it or whatever. So I went to go pick him up and, um, Tanya was like, well, I wonder if you had come in while she was grooming him, maybe we could try that next time. Cause she was like, if you, if you know, you want to talk to your vet 
and see if they'll give him some kind of like sedative to bring him in to be groomed. And I was like, yeah, let me call the vet because I mean, we just can't not get boo groomed. And the thing is, is that I know her and I trust her and I'm like, do I think that somebody else could get him groomed? Yes. Do I know what that process would look like? Meaning that they would groom him at any expense and scare the hell out of the dog? No, I don't know what that looks like and I don't want that for Boo, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want him to be so scared that, like, you know, and, <clears throat> and Tanya said, she was like, I don't want this to be a scary place for him. Like, I don't want, you know? So that's why I was just like, leave him. Well, when they brought him out, Tucker looks like a little goat, he is so cute. But Boo Radley, literally, like, his, like, entire body is, like, puppy short, like, shaved down. And then his head is exactly like it was before. It was kind of funny, honestly. He looked like this, like, big lion, you know, with all this hair. And he was, like, whipping it around. And so, Tanya was like, I wonder if maybe I can cut some of it away, like, if you're holding him. Because the groomer was already gone by that point. And I said, well, we can try it if you want. So, we took him back to the groom room. Tanya's like, no, you know I'm not a groomer. I said, yes, Tanya Jean, I know that. So I'm like holding him. He was completely fine with me holding him. I was like, you're such a good boy. He wasn't even like, like shaking or nervous or anything. So Tanya was like, she cut around like his eyes so that he could see real well. And, but it looks like a total like, like home, like botched job, you know, dog. I said, Tanya, you have a career as a dog groomer. She was like, uh, never. She was like, you can see I have no skills. But we did get quite a bit of the hair like off of his face, which was good. Um, so I'm gonna see if maybe I can take him back in there and I, I can hold him and see. Like, I, I also wonder, because she uses trimmers, right? Like, I, I also wonder if it's the sound of the trimmers. Because, like, with the scissors, he was completely fine. But, like, any kind of, like, weird noise, like, Boo... I keep on wanting to say Alex, but <laughs> Boo does not do well. Like, he doesn't like weird sounds of stuff. What was it yesterday? Well, like, if your phone... Like, okay, when I get text messages and they come up, like, on the computer, like, if the computer volume is on, like, Boo Radley freaks out. He hates that sound. He hates the sound of the phone ringing. Any, any kind of, like, a, like, electrical noise, like, sounds, he hates... It, like, freaks him out. But there was a sound yesterday. I don't remember what it was. What was it that... He really didn't like it. Which is weird, because, like, this doesn't scare him. Um, I don't know, but something yesterday, when we were back at the house, because I got the dogs and brought them back home, there was something at the house that was, like, making a weird noise. What was it now? I don't even remember. And he, like, looked at me, like, real scared, and then he came and he, like, stood up and put his paws, like, on my, like, he was scared of the sound. And I don't remember what the sound was now, but I immediately thought, I wonder if it was the razor, like, the tremors that he was afraid of, like, when he was getting groomed. So, he's fine. He looks okay. As long as he can see and his nails are trimmed, that's all I care about, you know? The other thing is, the vet might do grooming. I'll have to ask him, you know? I've been getting a flat white from Starbucks. I really like them. I don't know if I permanently changed my uh, recipe or not. <laughs> my recipe, my my choice from Starbucks or not. I don't know if I permanently changed it, but. I did go to the post office yesterday. I had quite a few packages. I had, well, one package was something that was being sent to Alex for like a review for his Instagram. What else was there? And then, I don't know, I have like it all laid out on the counter so I can show it, because I don't know the names associated with it, although I could probably think about it if I tried hard enough. <laughs> or was hypnotized through espionage. Um, Cause the one, okay, so somebody sent me a candle and a Starbucks coffee mug from Vancouver. And it's, the mug is beautiful from Starbucks. And she wrote a long card. And now I can't remember, I can see the name at the very end of it. Shoot. So that, and then we got a Halloween card. We're just wishing Alex and I a happy Halloween. And then there was something else. 
shoot, I can't remember. Anyway, my new shoes came yesterday. My Adidas, what are they called? Continental 80s or whatever. They're like shoes they had out in like the 80s and they remade them and like restyled them. Did I tell you this whole story about how like I wanted them because Fufu had them on and my brother-in-law Fufu had them on in a picture. These pink ones, they're really cute. They're like pale pink. And I was like, oh, I love those. I want those. <clears throat> so when I was looking for Doc Martens at Journeys, I was asking this guy and then I was texting Fufu and so he told me what they were and I ended up ordering them. Well, they came yesterday. And then... I also ordered another pair of shoes. I should never shop like online. I ordered another pair of those Golden Goose shoes. I know, I know. Those ones that I had to have when I was in Dallas and I never wore, but like I wore them this whole trip. Like I like fell in love with them and I was like, um, they're so comfortable. And I felt like we went several places where I saw other people that had them on and I loved them when I saw them on other people. And I was like, oh my God, I, these shoes are so comfortable and I love them and they're expensive as hell. But I was like, well, I really haven't bought anything that's expensive in a while. So I, when we were at the airport, I ordered a pair and they're completely different. They look like running shoes, but they have a golden um, goose star on the side of them. I really like those golden goose shoes. I actually, I was talking to my friend Valerie yesterday and she's like, well, what do they look like? I haven't even seen the other pair that you got. And so I screenshot them and showed her and she was like, and I didn't think she'd like them. And she was like, I love them. She was like, why don't you ever wear them? And I was like, I don't know. She was like, I was just like, you know, so, um, but I did, I wore them quite a bit on this trip. I just love shoes. Shoes are like my favorite thing. I've got to take back these shorts that I bought from Macy's because I didn't wear one pair and I have four pairs of them. And um, so I need to take them back. I hate returning stuff. Do you guys hate returning stuff? I just, I found the bag with the receipt in it. And so, which I usually take the receipts out, but I found the bag with the receipt in it in our trash can upstairs and so I have like the trash like the pants in the Macy's bag with the receipt on I'm ready to go back all I have to do is return them <clears throat> I'm just like uh, maybe I'll do that tomorrow oh you know what I was also wanting to early vote I wonder if I could should just go early vote right now while I'm vlogging. Let me pull in to the post office. There's like five places that we can early vote. My neighbor yesterday across the street, he was like asking me what the other places were. And he was like, well, I went to this one. One was a church. And he was like, I went and it was um, like an hour and a half line to get in. And I was, he was like, it was like all the way around the corner outside. I looked like crap, <laughs> but who cares to go vote, right? And um, and he said, yeah, it was like an hour and a half. It was like a long line. Hell, an hour and a half, I probably would have waited. It's going to be horrible the day of the election, you know? Um, but I told him, I said, well, I was, I kind of decided I wasn't going to go Monday. I guess it started on Saturday. Cause I said it started yesterday. He goes, no, and I said, I thought everybody would go like the first day that it could start. He goes, no, it started Saturday. And I was like, really? Well, I thought I looked it up and it said the 26th. I'm almost positive I looked it up and it's on the 26th through the 3rd. Um, but here. Because Melissa was going to go early vote too. And so, Melissa and Jason were. So they were telling, we went out to dinner before we left. Oh. Okay. 
hold on a second, let me get out of that. Early voting. It's like on the government website, Indianapolis. Or to early vote. Find your early voting center. I wish I had my reading glasses. Oh, I do have my reading glasses. But I also am like, well, then I wonder if like the day early voting for the 2020 general election. Oh, October 24th through November 1st. This is real close to me. 6501 Sunnyside Road. Let's see how far away it is. Fifteen minute drive. All right, well, let's do it. If I get there and it's packed, I won't be doing this today. But you know, then other people I see, they're like, oh, I went right in and I was like done like uh, voting in five minutes. So who knows? something to do while I'm <laughs> vlogging today. So yeah, I don't know what the sounds were of the dogs. Or uh, I don't know what the sound was that was bothering Boo Radley. I have no idea. I feel like I've watched every show I wanted to watch and now I don't know what I want to watch. Monsterland and, La and Lovecraft are like the two shows I want to watch. And I was going to download Lovecraft... Um, but I didn't, but I couldn't download it. There was nowhere to download it, like, on any of my different streaming apps. Um, what was I going to say? I think I was going to tell you guys the other day when I was vlogging, and then, I, like, I ended it. I can't remember why I just ended it. Did the battery die or something? But anyway, about the movies that I watched. Okay, so I watched that Alone movie, which is, like, a new horror movie. Don't waste your time. I just don't. It's just... It's basically about this guy that's like hunting this woman to kill her. It reminds me of so many other movies I've seen. And I don't feel like it was done any better than any of the other 5,000 movies I've seen that are just exactly like it. Um, This car behind me is like right on my tail. Um, and then the second movie I watched, I, I do know I talked about this in my video, but I don't know how much I talked about it. The second movie I watched was called Ava. And it was with Jessica Chastain. And she plays like a spy in it. But it's not really about her being a spy. It's really about her going home. She hasn't been home in like eight years. And it's about her, she's like an assassin. And it's about her going home and, um, oh, well, do you guys remember that I had the idea for a book that I was going to call The Sober Assassin? Do you remember? I had this whole book idea called The Sober Assassin. And it was about this woman that, like, she gets, I mean, the backstory is kind of a little different. But anyway, she gets in this horrible car accident. She's had, like, all these, like, DUIs and stuff. And she really has no family or anything. So she gets, like... She goes into this place called rehab, which is basically where they take like addicts and alcoholics that are like at the end, like at the end of their like all this stuff, and then they rehabilitate them and turn them into like spies. The whole story was gonna have this background of like the spy that was also like 
sober and in recovery and how like it kind of messed with her sobriety a little bit like but anyway that's basically the story <laughs> that's basically this movie <clears throat> so anyway I had downloaded it and then Tanya said when I was talking to her she was like oh my god we watched a great Jesus Lord <sighs> um Tanya and I watched or Tanya called, she said, I'm like so distracted. That truck just like, I know you guys are probably like, Peter thinks he's like the best driver and everybody. No, like that car's truly like, there was like two lanes and he like swung and I thought he was swinging into my lane and it was coming and it scared me a little bit. But anyway, Tani had told me like the night before, or two nights before, she was like, oh, Eric and I watched this great movie. And I was like, oh really, what was it? And she was like, Ava with Jessica Chastain. And I said, oh, I downloaded that to watch and I haven't watched it yet. And, um, so I ended up watching that and it was so, so, so good. And um, I watched it on the plane. She, um, Gina Davis is in it too. And like, I haven't seen Gina Davis in anything for a long time. I'm a huge Gina Davis fan. Um, I loved her in Tootsie. I loved her in um, Thelma and Louise, obviously. She was so good in Thelma and Louise. Gina Davis has been in so many things that I just loved her in. And, um, she plays, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to see her in an older role. Like Tanya said it and I didn't really understand what she meant at the time. She was like, it's weird to see Gen Gina Davis like older cause you don't think of her that way, you know? And um, I still think of her in Thumb and Louise when she's like, oh, don't you hate that? <laughs> don't you hate that? Anyway, um, so she plays uh, Ava's mother. Somebody just texted me. She plays Ava's mother, and some of the story is kind of weird, I have to say. Like, there's this, like, whole, like, love affair thing, and then, like, the sister's involved with... It's like the, the guy that she was in love with is now, like, with her sister. It's, like, very bizarre. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of like, I don't... It's some kind of Jerry Springer kind of stuff that I don't know that, it, like, really belonged in the the movie like it didn't like it didn't make any I mean it kind of brought conflict to the movie in a way but I don't think that it like made it any more or any less if it you know what I mean like it just it kind of detracted I thought from what the show was all about but anyway then um Colin Farrow's Colin Farrell Colin Farrow Colin Farrell's in the movie god he looks so good doesn't he still I love him and then um, John Malkovich is in it. And John Malkovich is fantastic in it. He plays like her mentor. But she is so incredible. I love her. Like I remember we, Alex and I originally saw her in Zero Dark 30, I think, or Dark 40, whatever that movie is called. And she was so good in that movie. And this is kind of, in a weird way, like a similar kind of role. She's really, really good in it, though. But she's so beautiful. I love her so much. I just think, I don't know, she's just really cool. So anyway, watch that. And now I don't really have anything else that I want to watch. I don't know what to watch. I guess Lovecraft just had its fun. Alex watched the last episode. He was like, ooh, he was real excited. He was like... Um, I forgot I had the last episode of Lovecraft, and I'm like, ooh, maybe I could watch that. Why is this battery? I just put a brand new battery in this, you guys, and it's already at the halfway mark. Like, before I left the house, I put a brand new battery in. How is that even possible? Oh, because I did my review video first. But that would have only been 10, 10 minutes. It was only 10 or 11 minutes. I think I need to get some new batteries. I just passed that school and I was like, is that where I'm going? No. 2.4 miles still left. Some of the trees are like, okay, it's weird here because it's like 45 degrees. I guess it was 46 when I started, but like a lot of the trees, I don't know if you can see, they have like no leaves on them whatsoever anymore. Isn't that so pretty? But some of the trees have no leaves on them at all and some of the leaves haven't even some of the trees haven't even changed yet I'm out by where my dad lives <sighs> do you 
like, I don't know, like, if you register to vote once, are you registered, if you, like, never leave that county, like, are you registered to vote, like, for always? Because I checked, um, like, in the primaries or whatever, there was, like, some website that you could put your name and whatever in, and it would tell you if you were still registered to vote, and I was still registered to vote, which I was kind of surprised. I was like, but I hadn't moved um, neighborhoods, and... Yesterday, when I was talking to my neighbor, I said, because he lived in a different part of Indianapolis, but I, I, I always thought it was by zip code. And he said, although he's moved now, so I guess since he's moved, it would be different. And he said, they, he because my other neighbor was out there too, and he said, well, he was telling me that we used to park at, we used to vote at, the that he had heard that we used to vote at the fire station. And I said, yeah, for years, it was like right around the corner of the fire station. I don't know why they changed that. And I have to be honest, like every time I ever voted at the fire station, I literally went in, voted and walked out. I mean, it was just do, 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 do. It was right in and right out. It was so easy. Um, so I don't know why they changed that, like why they took the fire station as one of our options away. But that was always really easy. I hope I don't get here and it's like super, super packed. I'm like, trying to think of what well, he said he went at like eight he whenever they open at eight o'clock or nine o'clock or whatever he went to the church one and he said it was a mile and a, or an hour and a half line outside already like at eight that early in the morning the thing is i mean the process isn't super quick like once you wait in line you have to check in the whole thing for each person is probably I mean, really, from entering the building to leaving is probably, what, five or ten minutes? So, if you think about that, it times how many people you have. I mean, it's really not like, I mean, you're waiting for a reservation at a restaurant. You can't rush them through that process, you know? Um, I need to take my reading glasses in with me. I need to remember that. Um, I do think it helps to know before you go, like... Um, especially like with the local stuff to know like what you're voting for and all of that kind of stuff. I think that's always important. Cause I can remember when I was younger, I would get up there and I'd be like, I don't even know, like not the people, but like some of the things that you're voting for. I'd be like, I don't even know what this is. I'm behind the post, man. I remember when I was growing up, I used to always think like, I mean, I guess it is, you know, but like the process of voting was such an adult thing. Like I can remember when my mom would go and like, you know, and she would have the little sticker or whatever. And um, I think they did the stickers back then too. Or she would just tell me that she went and voted that day. And I can remember, didn't we have them like in schools? Like I feel like we had voting like at our school, like my elementary school or something like that when I was growing up. But anyway, churches do it. I wonder the church where I have my home group meeting is always closed because of elections it seems like because our home group is on Tuesday night Sunnyside Road now I'm like right by my sponsor 1.4 miles. Oh my lord, there's a Puccini's out here. I didn't know that. Do you guys like just driving? I love driving. I'm sure that surprises nobody. <laughs> yes, Peter, we kind of understand that you love driving. Ooh, some pretty houses out here. Farms and stuff. Keep on going. Keep on going. Move. Don't stop. No. I'll be really surprised if I 
actually can go in and just like vote right away. I'm like, please, please, please let this happen. I used to remember. It stopped. Oh. Is it out of focus? There, it's better. Um, I can remember my mom used to go to like Ash Wednesday services too, and she would have like the ash marks, you know, on her forehead. And um, for some reason, I always thought that was like such an adult thing too. Long and winding road. Dun, dun. I guess I'm an adult now is what I'm saying. <laughs> you just kind of wake up one day and you realize it. It's not like an age thing. I think you think like when you're growing up that it's like an age thing. Like, well, like when I'm 18 or when I'm 21 or when I'm 25 or whatever, you know, it's like all these things like, you know, you can vote or, you know, you can buy alcohol or you can drive or you can rent a car, you know? I mean, it's like, you think it's like those kinds of things, you know, but like, or, you know, you have to do selective service. Do you still have to do selective service in our country? I remember I was like really scared of that when I turned 18. But um, like that's really not it at all. <laughs> okay, I think you like for me, it was like when I had to get a water heater for the first time. <laughs> I mean, it's something like that. Like when you make like some kind of adult transaction, it's like, oh, are you kidding me? Oh no, 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 no. Oh my God. Well, first of all, I went into the wrong, I went in the wrong way. Okay, so this isn't happening today. Um, I need to turn around. But I'm gonna show you guys this line because this won't be happening today. I'm gonna have to get up early and come to one of these places. I mean, I guess I could wait, but I'm not going to. Long and winding road. I'm actually just like pulling through somewhere to get to the. I literally pulled up and saw like nine million cars and I was like, um, this is crazy town. Like, if you're gonna do this, you might as well bring somebody with you because you're gonna be standing there in line for so long. I guess I could just sit there and listen to my audiobook, but I didn't bring my um, headphones, so. I wanna see what the line is like. Like, in reality. I wonder how far it is inside, that's the thing. You guys, look at the line, look at the cars. They're parked in the grass over here, okay? And I don't know if that's for the school or if that's for the voting. But the line is like really long outside. Okay, here's the door. That's where it ends. Yeah, no, we're not doing that today. Not that I thought that I was just gonna be able to like walk in and vote like really quick. Oh, aren't you sweet, Peter? Um, God, now I'm stuck in a long traffic line. Well, that was pointless. <laughs> How do I go home from here? <laughs> Me. Long and winding road. I don't know why I'm singing that song. It's a 22 minute drive, 21 minute drive to get me home. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well. People are like, why didn't you uh, mail in vote? And I'm like, <clears throat> First of all, I love this pumpkin cupcake um, hand sanitizer. But people are like, <clears throat> why didn't you mail in vote? Well, our absentee ballot, ballot vote, because I couldn't. 
And then people were like, <clears throat> well, yes, you can. Well, in our state, I looked, there were, like, there was only, like, four reasons that you could absentee ballot. And they were things like being over a certain age. Because I, I looked to try. They were, like, being over a certain age, da-da-da-da-da-da. You think it can't be this way all day, every day, right? Like it can't be this long. Now there's a long line of people trying to get out. They need to have somebody up here directing traffic. I wonder which one. Well, this is obviously not a great one to come to. I wonder which would be another. Every car up here is turning left and it's like, it's like not major traffic, but a lot of traffic going back and forth and nobody's turning right. I'm turning right. <sighs> oh, such is my luck. Where were the other places to go vote? Let's see. The Craner Park Community Center. I don't even know where that's at. Perry Township Government Center. That's far away from me. St. Luke's. St. Luke's. Where's that? That's close to me. Yeah, that's real close to me. Oh, it doesn't start until 11 a.m. And it goes to 7 p.m. Weekends? No way would I try that. Mm-mm. And then I almost kind of wonder if it's just easier to vote the day of voting. The last presidential election that I voted in, which what, was four years ago? Like, I literally, um... Like, I literally went in and I voted and then, like, I walked out. And that was at the fire station. I wonder what places there are to vote, like, the day of... I thought I just saw my neighbor. Honey, come on. Oh no, my, the person I thought was my neighbor is the person directing traffic. There's now somebody here directing traffic. And it does kind of look like my neighbor. <laughs> Peter, you're so funny. I know, I know I am. Oh well. Well, I tried. Mama tried. I've never stood in a line like that for an election ever in my life. Never. Never. And I have voted in... God, how many... How many times have I voted now, including primaries? Not tons. Um, oh, I gotta put up my directions because I don't know where I'm going. And I don't want to just be on the long and winding road forever. Long and winding road. Da, 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 da. Um, see, my gut is telling me that I should just... All these people are wanting to early vote. And I have a feeling that the day of the elections is not going to be that bad. Because I think that they're gonna have a lot of voting places to go. So instead of waiting three hours in line to vote today, I think I'm just gonna wait till the day of the election. If I had gone and it was like super easy just to walk in and walk out, <clears throat> what I don't understand is this, with all the volunteers that they have, why they don't have like 20 places open for early election or early voting instead of just five. Like that would make more sense, right? And then have less places the day of the election to encourage more people to early vote. First of all, I don't remember early voting before. Like I just don't ever remember this being like a thing. Am I the only one? Like I don't remember that from before. I really don't. 
but that doesn't surprise me that I don't remember something. Um, but it feel it seems crazy to me that in the entire city of Indianapolis, there's five places plus the city county building. And I heard the city county building was horrible to go vote at. I heard it was like line that Jason and Melissa told us that that it was like the line outside and you know and plus you're talking about going upstairs and all that kind of stuff so that must have been really hard well they didn't vote there but they said that that's what they had heard or Jason saw it or something I don't know but anyway um I need to google and see where do I vote the day of the election because if it's one of these five places and like that's it and they're just having these five places open for the election well first of all I really don't understand that if that's the case um, but if they're having like our neighborhood like place to vote then I'm just going to go do that I can remember for the last election I went and I thought it would be so many people and there were like, you know how they always have people standing out beside, like, you know, telling you who to vote for. You know what I'm talking about. Not telling you who to vote for, but the campaign people outside, you know. Um, there were like two people out front or out back. And I walked in and I literally thought I was going to walk into some huge line. And I literally walked right in and walked right out. Those leaves on that tree look like caramel apples. They're so pretty. What if there was a tree that was made of caramel apples? I'm sure somebody's thought about that for a book before. See, I always have all these original ideas that actually everybody else has had. But can you imagine that? A tree of caramel apples? That would be so delicious, wouldn't it? I would pick those apples all the time. The battery is about to die. So, I am going to bid you guys a farewell. And I'm going to get off here and I'm going to do my booktube vlog. I'm going to pull in here and change the battery. And um, I hope you guys, I'm going to do a real short uh, outro tonight. I hope you guys are having an amazing Tuesday, unless you have other plans. But like I always say, I don't have other plans. Make the most of your day. Do something really fun today, really exciting. Love one another. Be kind to one another. Practice random acts of kindness. Start your day over whenever you want. Most importantly, make sure that you reach out to somebody. Let them know how much they mean to you. More important than that, if you live in the United States, vote your right to vote and um yeah and hmm what else i think that's it anyway i love you guys so much and i will see you later tonight but it will be up tomorrow anyway i love you and i will see you tomorrow bye love ya